We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. So striding in, Ahmed Rosario. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Batting second. The right fielder. Throw nine. over to the bag, Brand and leader. the runner back. Yeah. Rosario on at first. Nobody out. Standing in now, Brandon Nimmo. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Runner at second here with one man out. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. And there's out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Alonzo. The set and the 1-1. One, one. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. The set and the one two. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Ozuna. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. The count is two and one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. And he struck him out. Stepping in for the Braves, Nick Markakis. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Two balls, one pitch. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. The 3 1. And this pitch is foul tip right into the glove of Ramos as he stays with it to record the strikeout. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. In previous duels with the Grom, comes in with 15 hits in 57 at bats. He's also hit three home runs. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Batting into the box, Ronald Acuna. And it's one and two. And this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. 
He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. Two balls and two strikes now. Here's the 2 2. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go. J.D. Davis the next to bat. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Oh. To two balls and two strikes now. <laughs> on a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. Digging in now, Michael Conforto he comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The pitcher. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. And he may instead be asked to bunt. We'll see how they approach the situation with one away. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. Over to Albies. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Ahmed Rosario. Here's the 1-1. One, one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Up next to the bat. Stepping in, Brandon Nimmo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still time. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. Now the 2-1 pitch. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. A ball and two strikes, the count to Tyler Flowers. Still one and two as he fouls it away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Hater caught too much of the zone. Softly hit out towards short. And an easy play out there as this is taken for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. The 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left. But back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And a slider runs away from him there. And the count levels at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2 one more time. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side.
Stepping into the box, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is there to record the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. For 1-1. One, one. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Stepping in now, Wilson Ramos. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Two and two to the Mets catcher. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Outside in a full count, three and two. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Takes this the other way to right, and that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Up next to the bat, the third base. At the plate J. now, J.D. Davis J. pulls this one in the air out to left. Ozuna on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So a runner at first with two away, and up next the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Conforto. Conforto behind the ball in two strikes. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Austin Riley. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Popped him up. Oh, he brought it back. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Max Breed. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. One and two now to the Braves pitcher. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. The next to bat for Atlanta, Ozzy Albies looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ball set for the start of the fourth. Ioana Cespedes striding in next. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Cespedes behind a ball in two strikes. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Now Next up for New York, Jacob deGrom, who reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. The 2 1 home. Ahmed Rosario will be next. The 3 1. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. 
And gone up into the second deck. Into the box now, Brandon Nimmo. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at that, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Under it is Ozuna, and there are two gone now. So digging in now, Jeff McNeil. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And that misses two and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. That gets down, and the inning continues. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. How about the first base? At the plate, Pete Alonso saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. In the dirt here, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. The 2 2. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Now at the plate, Nick Markakis. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Fastball called strike one and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. One down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings in Freddie Freeman. No runs, just one hit and no errors so far for Atlanta. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Fastball too high, ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Two gone now in the Braves' oh, half of the fourth. Well, that'll bring up the big RBI okay. bat of Marcelo Zuna. Oh, now the three and two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And he fouls this one off. Three, two, one more time. High in the air down the right field line. On the run is Nimmo. And he makes the catch in the corner. Wait, Felix wait, Hernandez, wait, a right handed wait, wait. reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 34. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. He's working on a one for two game so far. Count remains full. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. How about it? Now to the plate, J.D. Davis. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. There goes the runner. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Nobody out, runner on first. On 
there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now batting. So a runner on first with one out now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Here's the 1-1. One -one. That's ball two. And it's fouled away. Runners on first with one down. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Payoff pitch one more time. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Number 52. A runner on first with two away. off the pitch down and away ball two sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher you're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes two and two tried to bury one down and away but it's a full count now three and two Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a foul tip. Held on to behind the plate. It's strike three, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Tyler Flowers. And they'll need him to get something going here. A 1-1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. All even now, two and two. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Ready now, Charlie Culberson. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Charlie Culberson becomes out number two this inning. Good idea with the change, but it's two and one. Curveball misses here, so a good hitter's count now to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. This is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. So here's the Mets pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. He bats here with a three-run lead in inning number six. The 2-1 home. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. One away now for the Mets in the sixth, and up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Fielded cleanly. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. Bases are empty here with two men out.
back up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now. Now that number six. Standing in now, Jeff McNeil. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Nimmo ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He'll score easily. And they lead now by four. Now back, the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. In now, Pete Alonzo. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Hard hit ball to second. Albies scoops it up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ender Inciarte is into the on deck circle as it appears he will bat for Felix Hernandez here. In the he pulls this one into right and this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases and he is in the second base with a leadoff double the bat, number one, second baseman Ozzy. To the plate now, Ozzy Albies skied into straightaway right. Waiting on it is Nimmo. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Striding into the Nick Markakis. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. The 1 1 pitch. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hit on the ground to short. On to first, and Markakis is retired two away. Into the box now. Freddie the Freeman, baseman, runner in scoring five. position with two guns. Freeman. The 1 1 home. Hard hit toward the hole. Throw, not in time, but boy, was that a remarkable effort just to get to that thing. The center fielder. So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Your attention, please. So the call's gone out for the right-hander, Mark Melanson, as he'll take over on the mound. Seventh inning ready to roll. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Misses ball two. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. The third baseman, Diggy Davis. Strike two as it catches the outside corner. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Digging the in, Michael Conforto. He struck out Michael. swinging in his last Conforto. trip to the plate. On a line to shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. 
Digging in, Yoannis Cespedes. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy. And Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Rosario is right there. And he's got it for out number one. In now, Tyler Flowers. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. swing here but he pretty clearly went around and it's one and two now for the current campaign flowers is slugging a little under the 400 mark so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good he throws him on the fastball there Tyler flowers becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh line hard but this is a foul ball And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. A.J. Minter will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Adani Echevarria will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Batting nine, number 24, Adani now the one and one pitch fouled off the one two outside in a full count three and two Ahmed Rosario waits on deck Hit hard toward first. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Into the box now. Ahmed Rosario swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna on the move. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Digging in and looking now for that. more. Brandon Nimmo. He singled Brandon. his last time up. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Nemo with an even count of two and two now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. The catch is made near the line in left, tagging the runner from third. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. Shane Green will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Here's the 1-1. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Now batting the first Pete Alonso. Stepping in now, Pete Alonso. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly there, and it's back to even two and two.
hit on the ground out to short. Echevarria's there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So stepping in, Austin Riley. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Now that is at the plate now, Adani Echevarria. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ozzy Albies. He flew out in his last at bat. Hit in the air out to left. After it is Cespedes. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Into the box now, Nick Markakis. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the two and two. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Luke Jackson enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next for the Mets, Wilson Ramos, a hit in two tries so far. 1-1. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this will land untouched. in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now At the plate, J.D. Davis struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. The 2-1 home. It is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. There's ball four. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. This is on the ground over to first, and that is into right field, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The left field, number 52. You win it. At the plate, Joanna Cespedes fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Marquecas has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Robinson Cano will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Robinson Cano. hit hard towards center that's in there base hit and a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third so the bases become loaded now with two gone to the plate now Ahmed Rosario well this ball's hit hard to left and this is going to be trouble as that's down for what should be extra bases one run is scored He's in at second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Darren O'Day comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Number 56, Darren O'Day. So now to the plate, Brandon Nimmo. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. 
Dylan Batances is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Freddie Freeman. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Slurve doesn't get the call, and it's full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at-bats. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now another 1-2. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2-2, two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And another foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Marcelo Zuna. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Ready once again, Tyler Flowers. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Dansby three. Swanson will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven, Dansby Swanson. Two out, nobody on. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he'll put this one away for the final out. And the Mets have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The New York Mets led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jacob deGrom earns win number four on the season with 15 strikeouts. Max Breed was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. For Atlanta, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truett Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.